taking a look at weather. I notice on my phone for tornadoes. Okay, well, not supposed to be anything around me. Tornado watch has been issued. I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have yeah. we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my oh. job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there mean? something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not... You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. That's fair. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual get, Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Nope, I'm, 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 I'm for that I'll completely. Goodbye, Commander. You got anything in here I can have? The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow bi biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. If you understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Join us in the Hawking ETA cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Ah, that seems aggressive, but okay. What's in here? You in here? I can talk. Don't believe the rumors. The constant. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Oof. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. It is. Right. Sorry. It. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. <sighs> I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Where is she? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. Okay. I will. Have fun, that is. This place seems strange. Where's the more human? Bum, 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 bum. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. How's about no? I want to go across the bridge. I'll find this sorry consort. I 
I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times? Why? What do they want? Welcome. I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. What if I just but walk if you in wish to leave you your stop name, me? She'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your service. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Three or four mm, months. Three or four months. Are you serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Uh. No, thanks. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again. Nalina. Yeah. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. That's weird. That is close enough. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Okay. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Well, what wrong. happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Yep. Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. Okay. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. What are you doing? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients wait. Okay, so... I just gotta go to the tower, but I have. Did you see me? Okay, but where? <clears throat> where is that? The ability to 
like not be able to turn the camera while sprinting is very yeah, annoying. That's Okay, so now where is Orium, the bank, embassy, citadel tower, boards? Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide through. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive mm. virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals. Give me the tour. Welcome. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor... In the aftermath of the Krogan Rebellion. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Emporium Shopkeeper. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Though many in this place simply refer to it as Delon. Okay, Delon. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. Sure. All Show of me your items. items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Sell. I don't need. Hi, right, what do you got? Ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, seventy, seventy thousand. Yeah, why not? Mm. Right, Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. That's... that's annoying. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Citadel Tower, CSEC Academy, this door go to. Carla Vaughn. Where is, if I gotta talk to this dude. Bit of bell tower and just. Okay, well this goes to wards then. This must be where the wards are. Yeah, so. Is it not gonna let me down here? I gotta act. Okay, so I gotta go talk to the council. All right, let's go ahead and get that out of the way then. I can't go to the wards until I do that. Do not disturb the keepers. Okay. All right, well, let's go deal with the Citadel. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't have to trust anybody, especially not a government official. Thank you. Try again. That's my boy. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Probably not. I'm a human. You were literally the guy they were like, hey, go look into this and tell us what you find. And then you're just like, oh, I didn't find anything. It wasn't good enough. So. The Volus won't be joining the Council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push. And you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails. Okay, there's Captain Ant. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. What? He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. Yeah. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. That's right. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? 
We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. He could be Any useful. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the ward. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. The Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I want to know more about the specters. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council it's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How are they chosen? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. Is this they sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred, but the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. How are they organized? What's the command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have you don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. Why protect him? I guess him? enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. Hmm. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. All right, I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, take me straight to Chores Den. There we go. There's two things I'm supposed to be talking to. General? That's him.
well. Guess that's what we're doing.